you beautiful people. Greetings and salutations, I'm Jay. Slightly less unknown now than I may claim, but still, who even is this person? Lately, I've been thinking about game development and how much I love it. Certainly, 100 subscribers in a couple of months of YouTube activity makes me feel like, yes, I have found the right path and I am doing the right thing here. Which is great, because I've been wanting to make games since I was about 7. Anyway, I remade my first ever game idea as a gift to you guys, my beautiful friends. It's a ZX Spectrum styled twitchy arcade collect em up with a theme of 100, made over the course of a week in what turned out to be my own personal one developer private game jam, kinda. Link is in the description if you want to open your present now and swear at me for the never ending circa 1987 difficulty curve. Here's Jara. I came up with this idea when I was 7, maybe 8, after I saw another kid at school drawing what appeared to be game levels on a sketchbook. The idea had never before occurred to me, but it made perfect sense that people actually made these game things that I loved. I knew right then that this is what I wanted to do when I grew up. Well, I make games, can't guarantee I grew up, one out of two ain't bad. So, seven or eight year olds, it has to be said, are rarely creative geniuses and sometimes not very original. I know I wasn't. I had this quote unquote idea for a game that was basically mushing up two games I loved for the 8-bit computers of the time. I loved platform games, and still do, but the idea of jumping as the sole method of traversal really sold me on a game called Roland in the Caves from my Amstrad computer, which may also be known as Bugaboo the Flea on the ZX Spectrum. I mushed this up with Dynamite Dan somehow, or rather the frustration at not actually collecting much dynamite in the game, and ended up drawing caves full of the explosive sticks that had to be collected in an A4 sketchbook. And that's the idea I remade, with some of my more contemporary design sensibilities. It has 10 levels, each with 100 dynamite sticks to collect before Jara's house blows up or something, and you've 100 seconds to beat each of them, slightly less if you beat all 10 and the game loops around. Bonus mini tutorial. Although I was an Amstrad kid back in the day, for some reason I've more nostalgia for the ZX Spectrum aesthetic, enough to have made an entire game out of it in Quickly Quackly, which hopefully should be released in the near future. I thought I'd show you all how to do a very basic ZX Spectrum colour clash look. Make your level and test it as per my previous tutorial on decorating levels with hand drawn images. It's important. Anyways, create a monochrome, that is just black and white pixels, tile map of 8x8 tiles and decorate the level with it until it looks like something. When it's time for colours, I have a tile map that looks like this. Basically an approximation of the ZX Spectrum's available palette. These are also 8x8 tiles and what I'm going to do is paint over my monochrome level art with this tile map on its own layer. Because, and here's the genius thing, making this layer set to a multiply or subtractive blend will create that all important colour clash effect. Although I'm using construct here, variants of this technique may be used with other game creation engines. I cap all of this off with some post processing effects for scanline, blur, noise, that kind of thing. Be careful not to overdo this. It's a simplified version of what the ZX Spectrum actually did, limiting the two colour screen blocks to always have black as one of the colours. So it's not as authentic as it could be, but it's a neat little trick to give your game a nostalgic touch that will make any British gamer over 35 think about the past, for better or worse. Anywho, here's that effect in action in both Quackly and my 100 subs present to you all, Jara. Again, you'll find the link to that game in this video's description and not from my itch page, because it is a present to you watching this. Thank you all so very much. I'm afraid that's all we've got time for, we've reached the end of my video. If you would like to be a great friend and just ring my bell or give me a thumbs up or subscribe, you know how the algorithm works. Thanks, goodbye, stay beautiful.